the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul lifting messages, faith based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. It says, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time is come. And Lord, we declare that tonight is that time. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Give Jesus a big, big hand clap and please you be seated. Ubangiji kaisaya bo na gir mama sunanka Ubangiji ni nada o kaka sunanka Ubangiji kaisaya bo na gir mama sunanka Ubangiji This is our testimony We'll raise your banner high We'll shine your light so bright We'll sing in honor of you We'll raise your banner high We'll shine your light so bright We'll sing Tarok Nation Mon Dao Kaka Sunanka Ubangi Chika Isaya Ho Mongir Mamba Sunanka Ubangi Chika Mon Dao Kaka Sunanka Ubangi Chika Isaya hallelujah tonight i want to teach i want to share with you the secret behind the transformation of nations of, of cities and of territories these As history is full of men, families, nations, and territories that were transformed from developing nations to de developed nations, from third world nations as we call it, and even to africa let me begin my reading tonight from the book of isaiah chapter 66 and verse 8 will it be projected isaiah 66 so that we hurry up i'll open my bible isaiah 66 if you have something to write may i request that you write Isaiah 66 
and verse 8 okay, okay beautiful here's what it says who who had heard such a thing who had seen in such things he said shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day it's a question and then it says shall a nation be born at once but then and it says our children may that be the prophecy over our land in the name of jesus christ The Bible is full of patterns and principles that if followed can lead men and women, families and societies, territories and nations into an enviable destiny. The Bible is very clear as to God's intention for us as individuals and as a people. Jeremiah 29 and verse 11, the Bible says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. He says they are thoughts of peace and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end. That means based on the authority of scripture, there is no man, there is no woman, there is no nation and no territory that should live a life of retrogression, life of stagnation and a life of decadence however that is not the case as we see across several nations of the world several nations in africa respectfully but sadly even in our land i believe like you do that this is not the best of us as a people and that in the name of jesus christ as a result of this crusade god is going to be lifting us from where we are to the place of destiny if you're in agreement shout a loud amen for the purpose of tonight's teaching i want to give you five keys five principles that are responsible for territorial transformation the principles are irrefutable if and when understood and applied can transform any nation and of who is worthy of worship and allegiance the first thing that must happen to any territory if you must transit from where you are to where you need to be if we as a people must transit from where we are to the place of destiny there has to be a clear definition of who is worthy of our worship, who is worthy of our allegiance, who is worthy of our loyalty. Psalm 33. Let's work together, media, so that we'll see if we can project these scriptures very quickly. Psalm 33 and verse 2. Twelve, thirty-three and verse 12 the bible says blessed is the nation who the lord whose god is the lord blessed is the nation who god whose god is the lord and the people whom he had chosen for his own inheritance that means there are many 
semblances of God. But he says, blessed is any nation that decides to choose the God of heaven, the Lord of glory, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Like I introduced Jesus to us yesterday. Blessed is any nation. Keep the scripture there, please. Blessed is any nation, it says, whose God is the Lord. In 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 21. 1 Kings chapter 18 and verse 21. This was the contest between Elijah, the Tishbite, who was a prophet, and the prophets of Baal. Until that time, it seemed as though the God of heaven was relegated and there were all kinds of gods and deities that were being worshipped including Baal and Elijah called for a context at Mount Carmel and here's what he said Elijah came to the people and said Tarot nation how long shall he hold between two opinions he said if the Lord be God follow him but if Baal then follow him and the people did not answer a word I hope tonight you will answer If God be God, follow him. If Baal be God, follow him. I was reading up the history of the Tarok nation just again to remind myself and I, was, I, was, I became so emotional as I was looking at what Wikipedia wrote about the Tarok nation as the history from references that had come from individuals, academicians, historians, uh, you know, royalties, and so on and so forth. And I read how that as early as 1904, that the missionaries came and brought the gospel, even though it came with a semblance of colonialism, but that they came with the gospel and many territories rejected them and rejected the gospel. I hope I'm right on that history. And then the Bible says there was a group of people who embraced these missionaries and embraced the gospel and with the gospel came access to education and with the gospel came access to greatness today without argument we can celebrate individual achievements men and women who have been lifted from this ground and from this soil in science and tech largely in the military and defense and security God has lifted people because our forefathers with open hearts, even though confused, even though not educated, they made this decision that I may not know what the future holds for this group of people. But now that you have proposed that there is a God in heaven who can lift and who can make great, we embrace your message. And God said, since you have embraced me, let me show you what I can do with men when they hand over their lives to me. Tarok Nation, the Lord is speaking to us tonight. We must stop dilly-dallying between options. There are territories that have chosen philosophy as their God. There are territories that have chosen man-made strategies as their God. But once again, the Lord has caused this supernatural convergence to remind us again that we go back through history and learn that any territory that rejects the God of heaven, it is only a matter of time. There will be a plethora of casualties that will come upon that territory. Are we learning tonight? A clear definition of who is worthy, a clear definition of who you must serve because when your children ask you daddy mommy who do we serve and who do i pledge my allegiance to there should not be any confusion as to what you will tell them in the bible oftentimes they would capture an experience of god and they will say teach your children if they ask you this question tell them 
let me show you one more scripture very quickly is god speaking to us tonight job chapter 12 and verse 23 job chapter 12 and verse 23 job 12 23 the bible says he increased the nations and destroyed them he enlarged the nations and strained them again another version says he makes nations great it is it is god that sustains the power to make any nation great there is no nation that becomes great by itself my bible and your bible says it was the lord that advanced moses and aaron we do not just go forward we are moved forward by the god of heaven read your bible and see how god lifted men from nothing ask daniel ask joseph god is able to lift when dr panam was leading us in these powerful sessions of worship i sat back there and i listened to him as he was sharing his story i said look what god can do can i tell you this everyone under the sound of my voice inside outside scattered scattered around inside this this theater this stadium and those outside i see you as far as you are and i want you to know listen to me that if you make up your mind that i may not know what the future holds regardless the disadvantages around my life but i make up my mind once and for all that i will not dilly about my allegiance again i make up my mind that the god of heaven will become my god how can i bow before you and then bow down before a man no way no way how can i kneel down before you and then kneel down before a man no way no way because you are my god I set before you life and death I set before you blessing and cursing he says choose life that you and your children that means your decisions move beyond you your decision so number one any nation that wants to be transformed must have a clear definition of who is worthy of worship and allegiance as for me just like dr panam sang have made up my mind to go god's way the rest of my life I've made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. And if you doubt what God can do, look at the life of the man standing before you. Nicodemus came to Jesus and said, no man can do these things except God be with him. Number two. What is the second key that is responsible for territorial transformation? Write this down if you can. No territory is transformed until they have a clear vision. A clear vision that represents the future of that territory. A clear vision is the second key. A vision that becomes the driving force for everyone within that territory. America is great today because there is something called the American dream. The American dream is a clear, unmistakable representation of the expectation of the Americans. In leadership, we learn 
that you are not able to coordinate people and resources to achieve anything until there is a clear vision listen one of the the unbecoming sadly but respectfully speaking of african nations and territories and cities in decadence is that there is no theme and there is no vision that inspires that becomes the driving force who are we and where are we going it's a question we must answer as a people we have a common destiny but can we define what that destiny is respectfully speaking dear tarot nation what should i expect from the tarot nation in the next 30 years what will we tell our children and our children's children who are we and where are we going we are not just inhabitants existing with everybody trying to make to achieve personal things there must be a theme a representation of who we are and what god wants us to do as a people so that at the back of everyone who is the son and daughter of the soil you have it at the back of your mind that there is an anthem that represents our pursuit our passion regardless clan regardless where we are geographically speaking we must be governed by a common creed that represents where we are going any nation and any territory that does not have a creed a vision a theme cannot go far this is true this applies to businesses this applies to institutions this applies to nations broadly speaking there must be a clear representation of who we are as a people and where we are going to hear what the bible says in proverbs chapter 29 and verse 18 proverbs 29 and verse 18 my bible says where there is no vision the people perish where there is no vision the people no matter how well intentioned no matter how well meaning where there is no vision the people perish habakkuk chapter 2 when you read from verse 2 and 3 habakkuk chapter 2 from verse 2 and 3 it says write the vision don't just think the vision don't just wish the vision don't just imagine the vision write the vision it says then it says make it plain that means explain it to the understanding of everyone and the bible leaves you with an assurance that he may run that reads it the energy for pursuit is hidden in vision any family that does not have a vision will not go far any clan that does not have a vision will not go far any nation and territory that does not have a vision when you meet an average responsible american no matter how ignorant no matter how lawless he will recite to you and say i have a dream there is what is called the american dream a representation of the destiny of that nation with all due respect and honor my proposition to us therefore is that in all that we have to do there has to be a creed that represents our common destiny we should not just look into the past and keep wishing and making beautiful memories of the past there must be a creed that the children are taught from infancy from primary school to secondary school to the colleges let them know that we are not a scattered people hoping to find meaning for ourselves this is what we have defined as our pursuit this is where we are going the next 50 years let me tell you this visions outlive the visionaries we must be able to immortalize our impact by being people of vision there are corporations today in africa and across the world when the individuals die that is the end of the program the end of the business the end of the pursuit the reason is because they had no clear vision visions do not die even when the visionaries die there must be a creed that is greater than any individual that immortalizes the impact of the tarot man 
Number two, vision. Number three, are we learning tonight? The third key that will make for the transformation of any nation and any territory is values. Values. I also put in bracket ethics and codes of conduct. No society and no nation thrives except by values. There has to be a definition of ethics, values, and codes of conduct. In Proverbs chapter 25 and verse 28, the Bible says a man who does not have control over his spirit is likened to a city that does not have walls. That means a city with no defense. Values constrain us and help us to coordinate our energy to be very productive and to be efficient how do we behave as a people someone shout values one more time shout values watch this look at me please when you go to the bank tomorrow there is a way they behave you look at a banker and he does not have to tell you i am a banker there is a code of operation are we are we is that true we have so many military people here and when you see a military man whether with a uniform or not sooner or later their ethics and their codes of operations that make us know that education is excellent models that help us see that god can pick a man from nothing to something look up please let me tell you this um most people will know who is mark zuckerberg someone help me answer who is mark zuckerberg my dear people the founder of facebook have you seen him yes do you know him no does he know you no but because he has reason to be someone who represents a model in an area say it you are forced to learn about him and many people pattern their lives after him did you know that there are many people today who can fight now do you love football here footballers wave your hands betraying yourself now footballers this is a stadium hallelujah man united barcelona believe me i don't even know what i'm saying so don't you think that i have passion for that thing i'm only repeating what i heard hallelujah are we together now how come those players do not know you and yet you can save and save and buy an original jersey and be proud of it as an achievement and wear it with joy and pride do you know what happened to you something about their excellence something about their results inspired you enough to model your life after them that is the definition of influence influence is the ability to have an effect on another person the ability to cause a person and a people to buy into your ideologies without using force or cruelty we need influencers men and women who will make loving god not look like a thing of shame men and women who will show that dignity of labor is excellent transformation is difficult until there is a reference you cannot change into nothing there must be something you are seeing and let me pause here and ask us as a people to in one minute clap our hands in honor to every one person every general every professor every diplomat who has come from this soil and has become a model and an inspiration can we give them a round of applause in honor every pastor every general every royal father who has defied pain who has defied limitation and today they become inspirations not just to us but to nations here is my prayer that one day we will stand here and when we are clapping you will be part of those we are clapping for too Today you are clapping for others. But that you will be so challenged by tonight's teaching. 
and you will make up your mind a greatly revered mentor father who has gone to be with the lord now dr miles munro he inspired me so greatly when i was about to start ministry i wrote letters to several men of god just to honor them and to tell them what god was doing in my life i'm not sure it got to some but then this letter got to this great man in bahamas dr miles munro and you can imagine a young boy about to start this journey and he wrote me a letter handwritten and he inspired me he was a man who inspired me so greatly he was an advisor to about 16 presidents had the largest church in bahamas a man of impeccable character he wrote about 46 books about 40 of them were bestsellers he was a man who had what most people would pray for in many lifetimes and yet he was a humble man he was a noble man and i said this is it this is what my future looks like is there someone whose life you can look at today and say you represent my future this is it there must be sufficient people who rise from this soil who can inspire others not towards negative things listen there are some of you who were behaving well until you met certain models bad examples bad sources of inspiration you were not smoking you were not drinking you lived a decent and a disciplined life until you watched a movie until you watched tv and you saw someone redefine success for you and you made up your mind today oh dear we have all kinds of people behaving in different ways this is not to condemn but this is to challenge you we must have models this is my call to the tarot nation that god must grant us grace to have models and then let me challenge us respectfully speaking don't trivialize anybody making significant impact if and when you find them now please understand that i'm not saying this representing to myself at all it is a challenge any nation that downplays their gifts will have to buy that gift we must be very open to celebrate the men and the women that god is raising not by some structure but we must have a sense of appreciation let me tell you this most times we only honor our gifts when they become great not when they are rising it is a challenge that we have in the middle belt and God must help us to be discerning and celebrate people while they are rising, not when they are risen. If you are not part of a man's success story, don't expect honor when he arrives. People will only celebrate those who were there rising with them, not those who come when they are risen. There were men who came to David at the cave of Adullam. And they discerned that this man was anointed and they invested in that anointing. They became the mighty man of the, the mighty men of David. My challenge, therefore, is that we must create a system that begins to celebrate potentials, not just greatness. Go to our primary schools, start looking for the best students that are there. Let's start investing in that future because those little children they may not seem to know much, but they are already showing you potentials of diligence. When you have a family of 10 people and you have a young boy of 10 years with no father, no mother, and he farms by himself and is paying his school fees, that is greatness in the making. Participate in that story. We need to invest in people rising. Many of our young people today who have plunged into irresponsible lifestyles, they attempted to test the journey to greatness and they found out they were alone. No support now this is not to compare territories but there are territories in this nation there are territories in africa that as a people they will never go down because they have mastered the art of harnessing their talents and investing in it we cannot wait for people to fish their way struggle their way cry their way fail their way then when they become great we expect that they show allegiance to us parents believe in your children while they are rising not when they are risen 
The young boy may not be able to speak English, but he's a disciplined boy. He does not steal. I know that he's not past charm yet, but celebrate him for what you see in him that is good. Don't allow people feel stupid for being decent. Don't allow people feel stupid for being right. The young boy may not have gone to school yet, but every week you see him in church while his colleagues are drinking and smoking he's behaving himself wisely that is a disciplined leader in the making invest in that potential are we together we must learn to discern greatness many families today many territories today if it were left for them their children and sons of the soils may not rise to positions of notoriety because of the sheer amount of discouragement that comes within those places we must learn this as a lesson you see some of these are small children here i was very honored when i saw some of these little children running around the crusade ground do not drive them they are the next apostles they are the next evangelist they are the ones who will stand in this stadium someday by the time we fight them do not forget no matter how young you are age will come knocking at your door let us not make the mistake that the west has made now most of them in the 60s the 70s and early 80s their parents were the great evangelists and the wonderful people but they neglected their children they didn't carry their children along they thought they would be young forever now those children that they refused to invest in satan came and invested in that generation today they are the leaders and now the society has become a reflection of the convictions of those children tarot nation do not fight your children do not fight your your, your young ones do not fight the failures let us invest in them as they run around with no clothes someone who god has helped you make up your mind and say i'm going to pay the school fees of five children i may not do everything but i can start tonight is a hard teaching but it's god speaking to us we must have models that help our people to understand that an entitlement mentality does not make anybody great. An entitlement mentality is waiting for someone to be blessed and then to come and bless you by right. That is the mentality of people who don't rise and don't go anywhere. Number five. The fifth key that brings territorial transformation to any nation and to any people is creating the enabling environment that makes for development no territory will rise and no territory will develop without an enabling environment development is atmosphere dependent we must create the condition that allows for development and there are three of them that i want to bring to you and then we begin to pray number one institutions please write it down no territory can be transformed beyond the institutions that it has there must be a passion in us to build institutions educational institutions especially because institutions have a unique way of driving people into that territory institutions have a unique way of neutralizing certain negative aspects of culture institutions are powerful you check territories today for many years i lived in zaria and even though it's a territory of a strong islamic you know affiliation but because of the presence of so many institutions the universities, the College of Education, the, the Federal uh, College of Education, the, the Polytechnics, because of the presence of these institutions, it has seemed to assume a mold that can allow that, that heterogeneous collection of positive values and then it makes for development. 
let me challenge politicians respectfully let me challenge elder statesmen respectfully posterity will judge us if we go to the grave without contributing our quota to build institutions within this place listen it is not a tell them thing it's a tell everyone we have a collective role the first institution is family the first institution is family every armed robber comes from a family everyone who is causing trouble in society comes from a family so if every family here represented when you make a covenant as a father that i will not just give birth to children i cannot take care of i will be responsible over my children don't give birth to children and hand them over to someone to take care of them for you no the family institution don't just wait for some minister or royal father or some wealthy man to come and build universities let's start with what we have it is cheaper building families all it takes is conviction mother father let your life be the first example of jesus to your children every family should contribute to the tarot nation by producing responsible well-behaved children now please don't feel bad i know there are families here and there with struggles we understand that's why we are here tonight however there must be a determination before a young man and a young woman gets married don't just ask them where did you school what do you have do you have money thank god for those but what are your values what are you going to transfer to those children don't add trouble to us do you know do you understand the principles that make for greatness we must build institutions then we must build in infrastructure infrastructure i went um we had quite a few visitations around our territory and i saw that there is a great need for infrastructure in our area and we must obtain grace from god we must build infrastructure we must trust god for grace to build infrastructure can I tell you something sincerely, dear Tarot Nation? Foreigners will not come and build our walls. We will be the ones to build and transform this nation. For every young man here and young woman who is doing well, as God begins to help you and you begin to rise, as God blesses you, don't go around building institutions somewhere else and forget about your place. Come and change that mud house into something that is of dignity. We must build infrastructure number three we must secure our land someone shout security one more time please shout it say security there can be no development in any territory if we do not invest in creating the enabling environment and security is one of the major components and i thank god because and i'm high above your head because this prayer you are about to make is not a poem you are reciting my dear brothers and sisters it is a decision that will define your eternal destiny now god is giving us an opportunity i want you to lift your right hand high above your head and say this after me everyone say lord jesus one more time say it say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word I come to you just as I am I ask you to help me forgive my sin I believe that you died for me I believe that you rose again for me tonight I declare that you are my Savior I declare that you are my lord i declare that you are my king the power of sin of satan of hell of the grave is broken over my life from today 
and forever i live for jesus and jesus alone amen and amen keep your hands lifted let me pray for you father thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for this harvest that you have brought to yourself they have made this declaration and based on the authority of scripture we declare that they are recipients of eternal life from tonight i decree and declare by the authority of scripture that your sins are forgiven and i declare that you begin to walk in the newness of life go forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ amen and amen can we give them a big big hand clap all over this stadium hallelujah now here's what i want you to do for me very quickly there are counselors waving their hands all of you there are quite a number of you so i may request that you walk fast those in front make sure you walk fast now all of you please i want you to walk to my left which is your right the counselors will receive you they'll give you a form to complete and then you'll rush back to your seat because we're about to pray for miracles right now let's celebrate them as they go everyone every one of them let's appreciate them as they go is this the best you can do hallelujah you have won the victory hallelujah you have won it all for me one more time sing hallelujah hallelujah
when Jesus hung upon that cross hear me ladies and gentlemen when he hung upon that cross bleeding he made a statement in power it is finished someone shout it in victory say it is finished it is finished ah. what are you turning to why open the eyes of the blind to me I want you to listen to me when Jesus died and when he rose again I want you to know that he rose triumphant how many of you believe that this is what the Bible says for this purpose was the son of God made manifest that he may destroy the works of the evil ones I want to pray right now and in this prayer, I want to minister like I did yesterday to people, families, individuals who have been under any and all kinds of bondage. I want to pray for you right now. An end has come. The Bible says that at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of things in heaven of things in the earth and of things under the earth and that every tongue will confess that jesus is lord to the glory of the father are you ready to celebrate the hand of god now please listen to me whether you are an usher or not here's what i want you to do for me will not take too much time and will be done tonight that everyone who is under the anointing like we did yesterday whether you are an usher or not, the ushers are, are limited to attend to the people here. I'm going to begin to pray. And as the power of God comes upon you, please, I'd like you to bring those people out for me if I request it. There are people, men and women, who have, please clear the way from, so that we don't have anyone falling on those who are on the wheelchairs and all of that. I want to pray for you. And here's what I want you to do tonight we are going to shout it was a shout that brought the walls of jericho down it was a shout that brought that fortified wall down and as we make this loud shout of the name of jesus please hear me every bondage every witchcraft every activity of darkness Tying down your destiny and would not let you to rise. It must give way right now. I hear the chains falling. Hey, hey. I hear the chains falling. Over your life and your destiny. I hear the chains 
Hallelujah. Now listen very carefully. Before we shout, there are two people in the congregation right now. The power of God is going to come upon them with a loud shout to the hearing of everyone. Please bring them out. Right now. Break chains break break chains break we prophesy break chains break break chains break up break chains I tell you there are angels here are you ready at the count of three i want you to shout that name that is above every other name and as you shout that name every power and every force tying down your destiny must release you right now are you ready at the count of three one two three shout jesus I command right now every power tying down destinies every power be broken now bring them out be broken now every force of witchcraft spirits of ancestry in the name that is above all names I decree and declare you are broken now you are broken now you are broken now Broken by the power of the Holy Spirit in the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus Christ. Break spirits of ancestry, break yokes of darkness, tying down families, tying down destinies. The Bible says, Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I'm still praying. Hear me. There are people here. You never seem to be able to move forward. As an individual and as a family. It looks like a force tying you down. The only thing growing in your life is your age. I want to pray for you. The power of God will come upon you right now every demonic orchestration we're still going to shout that name again this time around fire falls from heaven to burn everything that is not of god are you ready now one one more time two three shout jesus bring them out them out in the name of Jesus I'm telling you I'm seeing a vision and I'm just in fire fire help, help her hold that lady please hold them so they don't injure themselves ushers fire atmosphere ship now chains be broke hallelujah I'm hearing a name Lokia who is Lokia I'm hearing a name Lokia I want to pray for you you are wearing yellow 
you are wearing a yellow dress up and down look here is there someone like that there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus What's your name? Lokia. I want to pray for you. Listen, the Lord is visiting you and visiting your family. This is what I'm seeing. Because I'm seeing you crying and you are saying, Lord, how long? And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that captivity comes to an end. I stretch my hands right now. May the power of God come upon you. I break that chain now in the name of Jesus Christ. Break chain. Break chains. Break. Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name, Godia. Who is Godia? Godia. Godia, I presume that there might be a number of people. But I'm going to be praying for the sick now. Godia, I want to pray for you. Who is that? What is your name, my dear? Godia. There is someone with HIV in the congregation here. I'm seeing the Lord healing that person right now. HIV. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that healing is permanent right now. It's a supernatural manifestation of the power of God. Now listen. I'm seeing the number 13. And the Lord is telling me there is fire falling on 13 people all over the congregation right now. And listen. The Lord is saying as that fire falls, he's bringing an end to witchcraft over that family. This is what I'm hearing. 13. I stretch my hands right now. All over. 13 people. Bring them out. The power of God is coming upon them right now. In the name that is above all names. My left to my right. In the name that is above all names. There is a lady God is bringing deliverance right now even to your family. Thank you, Jesus. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Help that woman, please. Hear me. Before I begin to pray for the sick, we are going to pray. I'd like you to open your mouth in one minute. Everything you are tired of seeing in your life. I'm agreeing with you. Declare that it must leave you now. Go ahead and pray. Hallelujah. Hold on, please. Just bring them out and the power of God is coming on someone. Every night you go to sleep, you must see dead people. Dead people speaking to you, calling you, asking you to come. This is what I'm seeing. Right now, the Lord wants to separate you from the spirit of the dead. For the Bible says that the living and the dead have nothing in common it is appointed unto man to die once not twice after it the judgment in the name of jesus christ i'm praying right now anyone who is under the yoke and the manipulation of the spirit of the dead hear me i speak as one sent and in the name of jesus that name that is above all names i command a separation between you and that spirit now 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 the spirit of the dead i curse you the spirit of the dead over men and women the spirit of the dead i curse you by the god of heaven the living and the dead have nothing in common the lord is asking me to pray and separate men from the spirit of the dead 
I'm praying it again. Anyone here who is under the influence of any strange spirit of the dead, my Bible says Christ has been exalted above every name, above every throne, dominion, and every name that is named. Therefore, be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? Hallelujah. Selfa. I'm hearing a name, Selfa. I want to pray for the sick now, but I'm hearing the name Selfa. This is what I'm. Is there someone with that name? The Lord wants me to minister to you. Please just be orderly. You don't have to be rowdy. God is speaking to you. I will pray for you, but this is not the person I'm seeing. Selfa. My friend, what's your name? Selfa. You are going to become a very powerful man of God. This is what I'm saying. I don't know you from anywhere. Stand up, my friend. I'm seeing that God is going to use this gentleman mightily in a way that will surprise you. Do you believe that, my friend? What do you do? Yes, sir. What? I, work, I work with the Bible Translation Organization. You work with? Bible Translation Organization. God is going to use you. You will be a mighty man of God. Listen, do not look down on yourself and do not despise yourself. I want to pray. There is an anointing that will come upon your life now. And it will shift you to a new dimension. I stretch my hands to you. In the name of Jesus. May that grace from heaven right now. Let it come upon you. You will move from glory to glory and from grace to grace. Receive that anointing right now in the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus. What's, what's his name? I'm seeing a whirlwind in a vision. And this represents confusion and chaos. And the Lord is saying he is bringing order to a family here. It's like that family is in loggerheads. Nobody can talk to themselves. People fighting people. And the Lord is saying by reason of this crusade. He's bringing order and peace to that family. I don't know who that family is. But in the name of Jesus receive this as a prophetic word. I pray for you sirs. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, whether you are an usher or not, be sensitive. Two people will run out.
is the anointing that is coming on them just hold them so they don't injure themselves two people i just saw this in a vision the power of god will come on them and they will start running out hold them hold them so they don't injure themselves Can we pray for the sick now? Now, please listen. Listen, hold on. Lend me your attention, everybody, please. Tomorrow is the last night. I'm about to pray for the sick. And I want to make a request. Listen, please. Tomorrow night, I want to request everyone when you are coming here, I want you to write your prayer request. Everything that must live your life and destiny. We are going to pass it around. We are going to be praying. And one of the things we are going to be dealing with tomorrow by the grace of God is the unity of the Tarot Nation. And we are going to be breaking the divisive powers. The spirits that divide us as a people is going to be a prophetic people time here tomorrow and then we are going to be praying over every request here the most accurate representation of your desire the bible says in mark 11 and verse 24 it says what things soever ye desire when ye pray it says believe that thou receivest them and thou shalt have them what things soever that's what the bible says so please do well to know that for your loved ones who are not here represented, you can do well to ask them to text their request and you can write it and submit it on their behalf. Let the God that answers by fire that he will arise over our land. But for now I want to pray for the sick. We saw the marvelous manifestation of the hand of God. For a few minutes tonight, let me pray for the sick. And like we did yesterday, listen carefully. I'm going to pray and rebuke every spirit of infirmity. And when I pray, here is what I want you to do. I'm going to ask you to check yourself. And the moment you find out that there is a miracle, some of you who could not testify yesterday, a few of you, probably you could now join them so that we start the testimony of tonight from you. But we'll take a few testimonies only and then we're going to pray. I believe in miracles. I believe in the gospel that is backed up with and by the power of the Holy Spirit. We cannot afford to preach a powerless gospel. No, we have to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ with power. Our fathers preached this gospel with power and we cannot afford to do otherwise. It is the name that is above every other name. And one more time, Jesus will be glorified in our midst now lay your hands please wherever you are trusting God for a miracle go ahead lay your hands if it's a part of your body you cannot touch may I please request that you make contact with your chest go ahead believe Jesus Hallelujah. Lay your hands right there. Hallelujah. For the Lord God Almighty.
Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit that is back of infirmities by the a power that raised Christ from the dead. I decree and declare right now. Let God's people go in the name of Jesus. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. From the crown of your head, even to the soles of your feet. Be healed in the name of Jesus. I command every blind eye, be open right now in the name of Jesus. Every deaf ear, be open right now in the name of Jesus. Every blood condition, be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Heart palpitations. The Lord is healing someone from heart palpitations. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is healing someone from pile. You have a painful pile. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. There's someone you have fibroid. This is what I'm seeing. And it causes severe pain and severe bleeding. The power of God is coming upon you right now. Right now. Right now. The power of God is coming upon you. And that devil leaves your body forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I don't know. I don't know if it is goiter. But I'm seeing something that looks like a swelling around someone's neck. As I'm praying right now. That demonic growth dissolves right now. In the name of Jesus. All those with bone conditions. Crutches, wheelchairs, bone conditions. In the name of Jesus, I declare unto you, be healed right now. Be healed right now. The Lord is showing me someone, you have severe pain. Your back area here, sometimes when you get up in the morning, it takes you a long time to be able to stretch. The power of God is coming upon you right now. There's someone with a kidney issue. I don't know what it is, but I'm hearing kidney. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord give you brand new kidneys right now. Brand new kidneys right now. There's someone, your, your right leg. I don't know if it's that you cannot walk with it or you cannot move effectively with it. But by the power of the Holy Ghost right now, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming upon that leg. And you'll be able to move it freely right now. You'll be able to move it freely right now. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone, you came for this crusade and you could not see. You couldn't see. I don't know if it's that you could not see very well. But right now, as I'm praying, you begin to see light flashing towards your eyes. May that eye be open right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Peptic ulcer. You have a severe case of ulcer. The power of God is touching you right now. You will see a big relief your chest area let there be freedom for you you right now in the name of jesus there are at least three or four people i see in my vision the lord is healing from diabetes sugar diabetes be healed right now in the name of jesus 
be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Sugar diabetes, be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Now, hold on please. There is a woman here I'm seeing in my vision. You've not been able to have a child. Every time you get pregnant, someone comes to you in the night when you are sleeping and he comes to molest you. A few days after that, it's like bleeding and miscarriage. The Lord is asking me to pray for that person now. The power of God is coming upon you. That demonic covenant you have with spirits that will not let you be with child. I command be free right now. Be free right now. Wherever that person is, be free right now. In the name of Jesus, be free right now. The Lord is asking me to pray. And although I'm ministering healing, but the Lord is asking me to pray for a group of people every time you go to bed all that you see is you see yourself in your old house you see yourself in a secondary school a place you were once there and it's like you are doing something that never finishes i want to pray for you in the name that is above all names everything connecting you to yesterday and will not allow you to go forward right now let fire from heaven break that separation cause that separation right now in the name of Jesus Christ now hear me whether I mention your case or not my God miracles are happening in this place whether I mention your case or not be healed in the name of Jesus there's someone they brought to this crusade ground the power of God is touching that person now it's as if you have it's as if I don't know if this is like madness the person seems to have some level of psychosomatism or so. The power of God is coming on that person right now. I declare normalcy to your mind. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now hear me. Whether I mention your case or not, be healed in the name of Jesus. I'm going to request that you do what you could not do. If you could not walk, walk. If you could not talk, talk. If you could not, if you could not hear, let your ears be open. I want you to check yourself. The moment you find out there are miracles happening all over, I like you to check yourself. The moment you see that there is a miracle, I want you to run and come here like we did yesterday. Come to the aisle. There are a few pastors here who are waving their hands. They will receive your testimony very, very quickly. Very, very quickly. We are going to be singing while they come. The moment you find out that something has happened to you. There is healing. There is perfection. Some of you under the anointing yesterday. That happened to you. Um, the person who was healed from the crutch yesterday. There is someone sitting where that person sat yesterday. Mama, this woman wearing yellow. She's sitting down where that same person sat yesterday. Mama, look at me. Carry your crutch. Lift it up. In the name of Jesus, walk. Come. Come. Don't be afraid. Come. Come. Are you seeing what Jesus... I don't know this woman from anywhere. The Lord just spoke to me that he wants to repeat what he did yesterday. Are you celebrating miracles here? every other person who could not walk please don't force them we are not faking it here don't put pressure on anyone but anybody holding a crutch and you could not walk lift it and begin to walk lift it and begin to walk don't be afraid lift it and begin to walk in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i release miracles right now all over this place all over please don't force them don't force them if they try and they cannot walk keep them there sir Lift your crotch. Lift it. Walk. Come. Walk. Come. 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 Mama, in the name of Jesus, life, help her so that she does not fall. In the name of Jesus, sir, lift your crotch and walk. Come. Please don't force them. Don't force them. We are not faking it here. Look what Jesus is doing. 
Are you celebrating miracles? Please don't force that person. Don't put pressure on any one of them. In the name of Jesus, lift your cross. I'm seeing someone there. Lift it. Don't be afraid. Walk. Come. Come. In the name of Jesus, come. 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 Come, mama. Come. Walk. Look at what Jesus is doing. Lift your crutch. Come. Another miracle is happening there. Come in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree and declare everyone who could not walk, begin to walk now. Begin. Don't be afraid. Ask people to come out right now for, for testimonies. But I'm seeing there is a miracle. Jesus Christ. Are you seeing what God is doing here? Hallelujah. You have won the victory. the sister what happened to him accident yes, the leg broke how long Since from April. you could not walk yes. sir let the devil see you walk go ahead walk Look at the legs. Look at this. Broken completely in an accident. Another miracle has happened there. Are you celebrating Jesus? Listen. Let me share something with you. Please look at me. You see, when miracles happen like like this, they are not just showing that a man of God is powerful. No, no, it's beyond that. There is no man. You think I have the power to do this? No, sir. No. Please make sure you don't force anybody. Like this. I want you to understand the message behind miracles. It is Jesus saying, I love you. A miracle is a letter from Jesus to you saying i love you ah. you are god alone from before time began you are on your throne you are god alone. you are god alone you are god alone from before time began. But you are here and a miracle has happened to you. I want you to run out here right now. Let's celebrate them as they come. Everyone who has received a miracle, quickly, don't be ashamed. Please give them, give them room if they are coming to testify. Celebrate them as they come. Confirm them the moment there is a miracle, let them come here. 
are you celebrating people coming my goodness come come check yourself do what you couldn't do the moment you find out there is a miracle make sure there is a miracle once there is a miracle please come quickly quickly They are coming to testify don't stop them come quickly let's have them here and then we'll pray for all those who are who have been healed here in the name of jesus i seal your miracle by the power that raised christ from the dead these deformities and these deficiencies will never return to you again you are healed now you are healed forever in the name of jesus christ please return back to your seats rejoicing for the sake of time we may not be able to allow you share your testimony just a few all right go ahead so we have a miracle here of a severe pile kids pile an ulcer for 11 years Come 11 on. years after the declaration he was healed what's your name my friend my name is obed johanna obed johanna yes sir for how long issue of blood is your condition you came here with severe bleeding but right now Now by the power that raised Christ from the dead, that demonic occurrence leaves your life now. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, very quickly. Oh dear. Daddy, this, this man has been suffering from uh, um, ulcer since June last year. Ulcer. It began on his birthday and he used to take 20 injections in a month. Well, right, right now he's saying what kind of ulcer is that 20 injections where yes, by a medical doctor yes sir interesting in the name of jesus christ the lord has healed you you remain healed and perfected right now by the power of the holy spirit yes please give jesus praise the next person very quickly we have to rush Let's celebrate miracles here. This yes. lady had been having severe migraine pain. For severe migraine? Yes, sir. What's happening to mama now? Careful so she doesn't... She's trying to walk. Please take it easy with them. Mama, in the name of Jesus, the Lord perfect you. The Lord perfect you. In Jesus' name, yes, please. Quickly, migraine for th three months complete. Migraine in the name of Jesus, it goes now and goes forever. In Jesus' name, yes, please. She couldn't see now, now out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, she please. couldn't see, but why you ministered and called out cases for eyes? She did to see clearly mama could not see are you sure yes. mama yes you could not see something enter my eyes Jeez, on August, but I... Ah. I have a message from the lord hallelujah a message unto you i bring is recorded in his word hallelujah this only that you look at me. look at me my brother Lee.
and declare mama in the name of Jesus Christ your healing is permanent I stretch my hands and I declare you remain healed those eyes are open forever in Jesus name yes please let's have two or three and then I just speak I want to speak a prophetic word over you tonight and then we move yes please very quickly we have the case of a growth on his has had goiter for three years. Goiter? Yes, immediately you mentioned goiter. She started feeling it disappear and dissolve. How long, my dear? Three years. Touch it now. Any pain? Completely, my God. In the name of Jesus, goiter leaves, never to return. I curse the spirit that is back of it. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, please. We have the case of Pain. The hip I decree and declare be healed right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. All, all uh, let's have two more and then we're done. Yes. All Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashka na kata branda kete kotos, kete branda kata pa kotos koto pre kete kene kata. The phase of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.